Hey guys, it's me, Blaze, and uh, there was a terror attack that happened in, I can't remember where it happened, it was somewhere in England, and it was horrible, absolutely horrible, this guy, he went into a concert, an Ariana Grande concert, which was mostly filled with kids and little girls, and so he sets a nail bomb down, and it explodes, and a lot of people died. A, an eight-year-old, a freaking eight-year-old died. And a baby got injured. A freaking baby. But the baby, it's okay. It's living. But for everyone else, there a lot of people died. And a lot of people are showing their sympathy out. Tweeting, I hope... Um, you know, just tweeting really nice things for the families, and that's what it is to help everyone, help the families, uh, they make sure they and they're okay and all that. And guess what this prick Onision does? Let let watch this, cause if you're in a good mood, you probably won't be after this. So let's just watch what he has to say. Aware. Billions upon billions of human beings have died before you. Oh, that's how you're going to start the video. Not a terrorist attack happened, I'm sorry. Of course not. You don't know what sympathy is. Sure, everybody dies. I mean, no dip, everybody dies a million day. Like, we are just a copy of many people who came before us. Many of us are going to live. A copy? No, we're individual. If totally irrelevant lives and then we're gonna die and we're gonna cease to exist some people believe in an afterlife way to go captain obvious life who cares for all we know we're just gonna rot in the ground and that's it <gasps> you explain death oh you must be so proud of yourself today i saw a bunch of people retweeting and tweeting about uh, another mass death that occurred violently a terrorist attack a violent terrorist attack not death terrorist attack you fucking inconsiderate moron and people get so excited over these things they don't realize jeez i wonder why because it's a terrorist attack it's something horrible why they're tweeting these things first off they don't realize why they're tweeting these things. Do you not understand what you are saying? Of course they understand what they're tweeting. They hear a terrorist attack. They uh, they tweet that they're sorry. They hope the families can get better. But, of course, you probably don't know anything to sympathize what it is, you know? Because you're a mission. Everything's perfect about you. Over a thousand people die of cancer every single day. Cancer is common. Day. Look it up. It's the truth. But how often do you see people tweeting, over a thousand people died of cancer today? My oh, fuck you. You know, cancer has research, millions of research going into it. They have walks, fundraisers. So you can't really say nothing's going to be done for cancer, because clearly it is, you idiot. Your heart goes out to the families. Well, by the way, your heart going out to families worthless and you're worthless yourself it doesn't help them your prayers nobody wants to help you okay you're just a lonely crab hole in your shady youtube channel okay you know what good i hope your channel dies from here on out i hope you get terminated it doesn't help them if you look up statistics on that as well prayers do help they cause some miracles okay they help of course, you don't know what it's like to help anyone, because all you care about is yourself. It seems like more often than not, your prayers do less, if not more. Because a lot of times, the people you pray for die. It's almost like they flip the coin. <sighs> and that's it. Oh, you see, on how inconsiderate and selfish can you be? Okay, I get it. You you don't you're not religious, which is cool. But saying that you can't they die and all that, like sure they will, but <laughs> So you're just saying things to make yourself feel better 
about people. That's what you're doing right now. That's why you're all like, notice me, guys. Notice me. It's all about me. Fuck off, Onision, okay? That's what you're just saying. You're just saying this so you can make your pathetic life feel any better about you. People dying, essentially. Okay? And what's sad is when you're on Twitter, you see a lot of people saying these things, which they don't really mean anything except for look at me. Oh, what do you don't know? You don't know what it's like to mean anything. All you know is what it's like to be an idiot. Me. Yeah. Look at me, look at me, coming from the master manipulator himself. Who, oh, I don't know, filmed his girlfriend while she was having a psychotic breakdown, posted it on YouTube for views. Yeah, and they're the ones who's saying, look at me, look at me. When you're the one getting angry over people sympathizing, how retarded can you be? All you are is a selfish, attention-seeking whore. Now, someone died. Look at me. You know, ooh. That's all you think about is look at me. Ooh, this is trendy. I know for a fact that if you tweet during an event that just happened that's very violent, if you would tweet about that event, you're going to get more retweets than your average tweet. Yeah, and if you get all mad about people uh, saying, I hope the family gets better and you re and you tweet about it, and you make a freaking video about it, a five second tweet versus a five minute video. Who's looking for the attention here? I think it's you, Onision. People know this. People who are celebrities, people who are internet personalities, they know this. And then they tweet about it. They tweet specifically saying how much they care, what a hero they are. No one said they're a hero. They're a victim. They're not a hero. No one says a victim is a hero. You idiot. And then everyone else goes, oh, well, you're a hero. You care. Yeah, you probably don't know what it's like to carry, care for a human being other than yourself, right? Right, because only Onision matters in this world. You know what? Screw you, Onision. I want you to go to news.google.com and type in death. And look at all the people that are dying. Constantly. Constant deaths. A lot of you watching this right now, you're going to be dead within a couple years. <gasps> really? I hope you die sooner than all of us. Reality, okay? That's just how it is. A lot of us, maybe even me, Maybe even you, yes, you're gonna die, and when that day comes, it'll be a sweet, glorious day. Be dead within a couple years, okay? And then we have these people pretending, selectively, like certain deaths matter, but certain ones don't. Who says this death matters and this death matters? They're death! Okay, they're deaths. Sure, we pro they don't hear tweets about it because they probably don't know who's died. Maybe a family member who dies of cancer doesn't want to preach it to the fucking internet. Have you ever thought about that, huh, Nisyan? But we most all agree that all human lives are equal, right? Inherently equal. Like Yes, all human lives are equal, but for you... Because in your mindset, everybody does not matter. Everybody is only a view for you. Nobody, nobody but me cares, right, Onision? At birth, you're equal, and then your decisions may change your value. But inherently, they're all equal. Your decisions changes your value. <laughs> we know nothing of the people who have died recently in an attack. So they're about as equal as people who have died from cancer. No, people hardly know who died of cancer, okay? Maybe the family doesn't pronounce, Oh, hey, my grandma just died of cancer. But this, the news reports on it. It's a big deal. One person dying of cancer versus a terrorist attack. What's bigger, one person or millions? Okay. So if they're both equal, then why don't they both get priority on our Twitters or our social media in general? Oh my gosh, Onision, how stupid are you? Why do we not talk about them all equally? 
The difference is excitement. <laughs> they probably don't know who all died of cancer or heart disease. Because as you said, millions of people die, die each and every day. The difference is interest. I don't see you tweeting about the people who died, huh? So when you see someone tweeting or publicly talking about a death, more often than not, if it's not directly personal to them, they're talking about that because people will listen. Because people will care. Oh, maybe they want people to know that this really big terrorist attack happened. And maybe if more people hear about this, just maybe the person planning to do a terrorist attack might think, oh, people will know that I did this. Maybe they just might not do it. Maybe or I don't know. More people will feel sorry for the families. It's not about the people who died. It's about getting that attention. It is about the people who died. You're all about attention on DC on. So, I just wanted to make it clear that you people don't really care. That you're a retard? Yeah, we already knew that. About these people who died. Oh, what you care screw of you, Onision. People care about the people who died. Of course, you don't because you don't care about anyone else but you. About is taking advantage of a situation that excites you. That's what you do all the time. Like that one singer who died, who got shot. You're saying you did this exact same thing. Oh, and what was that for? Attention, you moron. People who die violently? Really interesting to the general public. Unless it happens over and over again. Like shootings. They happen on a regular basis in this country yet we don't hear about them very much anymore yeah probably because not everyone wants to <coughs> advertise that someone just got shot because we've gotten used to it we're not excited about it anymore the value of the lives of the people who have been shot more recently are not as valuable as they once were because what do you mean they're not as valuable? They're the same value even if they got shot millions of times. But your life means nothing. Back then, it was exciting. It was interesting. And it no longer is. So now we have to come up with new things, like bombings. But, importantly, can't be a bombing in a Middle Eastern country. We're tired of hearing about bomb. Oh. It's not like a bunch of bombings in Middle Eastern happen. They probably, I don't know if they do, but it's not, they don't have much news coverage in Middle Eastern, okay? We don't have much news coverage there, but here in Western, we have a crap ton of news coverage. Bombings in Middle Eastern countries, it's too common, so we're not going to tweet about that. We're not going to tweet about our prayers, we're not going to tweet about our hearts. Because it's just not going to get as many retweets as if we tweet about... Oh, or maybe you're just a retard behind the camera. A concert with a bunch of white people in it that got bombed. You gotta bring race into it, Onision, don't ya? Don't ya? Guys, I'm getting way too angry. I, I can't tell. I don't know if you guys could tell. But anyways, this video has gone long enough. So I'll see you all in another video, and I am outie like a scouty.